Hello everyone, welcome to Mark One Design EMC channel. One of the common mistakes we've seen in the field is um, during the design, designers bought uh, off the shelf power supply unit, puts the power supply units in his products. Often it could be as small as a box size or sometimes it could be as large as an industrial application, big uh, cabinet. Um, after the power supply unit is installed, often there are flying cables and wires over the power supply unit and uh, this could be uh, potentially very bad for EMC performance. So in the following video demonstration, we're going to demonstrate um, uh, two things. First is a power supply unit and its associated magnetic field, how to pick it up and uh, use, use it for our benefits. And uh, the second part of the demonstration demonstrates if you have a cable flying over the power supply unit, that particular cable or wire could be a, a emission source. This is particularly true for radiated emission. So here is a 24 volts input, five volts output power supply unit. Uh, which is an off-the-shelf one. You can buy these kind of power supply units on the internet. Uh, this particular power supply unit actually passed uh, uh, all the relevant um, EMC standards. It's a good quality power supply unit. You can see that um, it has a, a cage, metal cage, um, which is the frame out of the power supply unit. This serves as a shield. Um, but we can open it up and have a look uh, what's inside. Here we opened the frame up uh, of this particular power supply unit. You can see there are two transformers, some common mode choke and X and Y capacitors, basic uh, standard design. Actually, this design probably dated back uh, more than 10 years ago because uh, I, can, I can see there are lots of uh, um, discrete uh, through-hole resistors, which is which was quite uh, popular more than 10 years ago, but these days are all surface-mounted devices. Here we have a power supply unit, and uh, we have a 500 megahertz bandwidth oscilloscope from RIGO, and we also have our uh, Sigland Spectrum Analyzer running between the frequency from 150 kilohertz to 150 megahertz. The power supply unit powering uh, an active load, uh, but this active load actually is self-powered using all the analog devices, which means this load doesn't create any noise to the power supply unit. Okay, so the first demonstration, we need, uh, we need uh, a small magnetic loop. So this is simply a small wire uh, wiring over a BNC um, connector and it can pick up lots of, it can pick up magnetic fields um, by putting it close to the circuit on the investigation. So now we switch on the power supply. As you can see here, we have the uh, power supply units on and the load is currently drawing about 1.88 amps uh, current. Notice that if I put uh, a small magnetic loop uh, around uh, the circuit, I started seeing uh, noises on the screen. So by moving this um, a loop around the, uh, the PCB, I can pick up different uh, level of noise. So for example, in this case, if I put the magnetic loop close to a transformer, I pick up the uh, stray or leakage flux coming out of the uh, transformer. Notice that in this design, there is a flying wire coming out of the PCB and then going through a torre shape, a common mode choke. That's kind of suspicious. So now if I put, uh, put my small loop here and you can see there is a peak to peak about more than 500 millivolts uh, noise picked up by the oscilloscope reading. Notice that uh, the oscilloscope has 50 ohm impedance uh, input. So that's 
a very large noise picked up by this small magnetic loop. Uh, if you look at the amplitude, it's quite high. Um, one of the things I, I wanted to, to mention is that often the noise is also directly associated with the load. So for example, at this load condition, which is draws 1.8 amps uh, on the load, we, we measure the peak-to-peak -peak voltage on the oscilloscope, um, which is um, about, uh, as I said, more than 500 millivolts. Uh, so if now I increase the load, you can see from the oscilloscope that um, the noise also change. Right. You can see if I increase the loading condition, the noise also change. So for example, now it's pretty much um, occupy the whole, the full scale. So that's um, more than one volts peak to peak noise measured on, on the same loop. Whereas if I reduce uh, the load loading condition, so back to 1.8 amps again, is, um, is um, smaller, okay? So using a small magnetic field loop to identify where the noise sources is actually a very um, powerful tool for troubleshooting purposes. Um, so in this case, for example, if I probe around other parts of the PCB, I, I, I don't see any red flags, for example. Um, so I don't know why they designed a, a flying wire coming out of this PCB, and, and I think they probably made a mistake also, and then they need this um, common mode choke to filter the noise. Okay, so that's the first demonstration.